Good day. Our lesson for today is all about inverse of one-to-one -one functions. In this video, students will be able to, number one, define inverse function. Number two, determine the inverse of one-to-one -one function. And lastly, solve the inverse of one-to-one -one function. What is inverse function? The inverse of a function is a function with domain B and range A given the original function has the domain A and the range B. Ibig sabihin, yung dating domain ng original function ay magiging range ni inverse function at yung dating range ni original function ay magiging domain ni inverse function. And also, this inverse function of the function f is denoted by f raised to negative 1. It is defined by the equation of f raised to negative 1 of y is equal to x if and only if f of x is equal to y for any y in range b. Since both are function, then the function must be 1 to 1 for its inverse. To be function at the same time. If it is a many to one function, its inverse is one to many, which is not function. So, ibig sabihin, we can find the inverse function kapag one to one lang siya. Pero kapag nag many to one na siya, so ibig sabihin, the inverse is one to many. So, ibig sabihin, this is not an inverse function. So, applicable lang siya si inverse function kapag one to one. So, let us have an example. Find the inverse of the function described by the set of ordered pairs. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 5. We need to find what is the inverse of the ordered pairs. So, what we're going to do is we need to switch the coordinate of each ordered pair. So, pagpapalitin lang natin yung uh, ordered pairs, their coordinate. So, and that will be the inverse function. So, again, the original function is 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 5. Kapag kinuha natin yung inverse, pagpalitan lang natin, yung dating 1, 2, so magiging 2, 1. So, dating 2, 3, magiging 3, 2, 4, 3, 5, 4. So, yung dating x values nyo ay magiging y values na at yung dating y values nyo ay magiging x values na in inverse function. How about to find the inverse of the one-to-one -one function in the given equation. We need to follow the steps. Number one, we need to express the function in the form of y is equal to f of x. So, yung, yung f of x natin ay gagawin natin y to express into equation. And step number two, interchange the x and y variables in the y equation. So, ibig sabihin sa equation natin, yung dating y, gagawin mong x, yung dating x, gagawin mong y. And then, solve for y in terms of x. And then, the resulting equation is f raised to negative 1 of x. So, let us have an example. Find the inverse of 1 to 1 function, f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. Again, this is our function. Step number one, express the function in the form of y is equal to f of x. Yung dating f of x, gagawin natin y is equal to 3x plus 2. Then step number two, interchange the x and y variables in the equation. So yung y, gagawin natin x is equal to yung dating x, gagawin natin y plus 2. Then after that, solve for y in terms of x. So, pagsamahin natin si x variables at si constant kasi kailangan natin mahanap si y. So, y. x from positive will change into negative 2 is equal to 3y. Then after that, divide both sides by 3. So, cancel. So, y, y is equal to x minus 2 over 3. So, and after that, we need the resulting equation of 
this kind of function if f raised to negative 1 of x or the inverse function. So, magiging yung dating y, gagawin mong f raised to negative 1 of x is equal to x minus 2 over 3. So, meaning the inverse of 3x plus 2 is x minus 2 over 3. Another example, find the inverse of 1 to 1 function of f of x is equal to x plus 4. Again, this is our function. Step number 1, we need to change your f of x into y is equal to x plus 4. Then after that interchange, dating y magiging x is equal to y plus 4. Then after that, combine. So bring down x. Yung dating 4 magiging negative 4 is equal to y. So, and then after that, change your y into inverse function. So, magiging f raised to negative 1 of x or the inverse function is equal to x minus 4. So, this is the final answer. For example, find the inverse of 1 to 1 function f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 3. Again, this is our function. Step number 1, change your f of x into y is equal to x plus 2 over x minus 3. Then after that interchange, your y will become x is equal to y plus 2 over y minus 3. Then after that, apply cross multiplication. So the denominator of this is 1. So x times y minus 3 is equal to y plus 2. Then simplify this, x times y and x times negative 3. So xy minus 3x is equal to y plus 2. Then after that, combine. So bring down xy. Yung dating positive y magiging negative y is equal to yung dating negative 3x ay magiging positive 3x plus 2. Pinagsama natin yung may parehas na y. Next, after that, ilabas natin si y para makuha natin yung inverse. So, magiging y is equal to xy, xy divide by y, the answer is x. Negative y divide by y, the answer is negative 1 is equal to 3x plus 2. Then, para makuha si y, so divide both sides by x minus 1. So, cancel. So, natira na lang ay si y is equal to 3x plus 2 over x minus 1 and then change your y into inverse function. That's why f is to negative 1 of x is equal to 3x plus 2 over x minus 1. So this is our inverse function of f of x. Another, f of x is equal to x plus 1 over 5. Again, Change your f of x into y is equal to x plus 1 over 5. Then interchange from y will become x is equal to from x will become y plus 1 over 5. Tapos apply again the cross multiplication. So maniyari dyan. So magiging 1 times y plus 1. So y plus 1 is equal to x times 5 is 5x. Then, combine. So, bring down y is equal to 5x. From positive will become negative 1. So, this is the inverse function of f of x is 5x minus 1. Another, f of x is equal to x cubed minus 2. 
So again, the function is x cubed minus 2. Change your f of x into y is equal to x cubed minus 2. Then interchange will become x is equal to y cubed minus 2. Then after that, so x from negative 2 magiging positive 2 is equal to y cube. Then get the cube root. Para matanggal si 3. So cancel. Cancel. So natira na lang is y. So this is cube root of x plus 2. Then, I write in the, the resulting function, which is the inverse function of f of x is the cube root of x plus 2. So this is the inverse function. How about this? Find the inverse of the 1 to 1 function f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x minus 7. The solution is the f of x is a quadratic function whose the graph is opening upward. It fails the horizontal line test because it has x values which correspond to the same y values. And seeing it is not a 1 to 1 function, then it is inverse is not a 1 to 1 function. Remember class, Kapag ang given natin is a quadratic function, kapag gindrap natin to, laging ang graph ng quadratic function is a parabola. Pag gagamit tayo ng horizontal line test, so there possible na may dalawang x or may dalawang y values na pwedeng magtapat. So, ibig sabihin, pwedeng maulit. ba sabi natin, pag sinabi natin 1 to 1 function, dapat isang x lang para kay isang y. So, hindi pwedeng dalawang x para sa kay isang y or dalawang y para kay isang x. So, meaning, this kind of example is, is does not exist. So, the inverse function of f of x does not exist. Kasi nga po, it is not a 1 to 1 function. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Teacher Ren TV. Thank you.